Hello, yes, I'm Anania 8 and welcome to this science revision lesson today. Through this lesson, we are going to revise and refresh what we already know about plant cell and an animal cell similarities and differences. So let's start with uh, animal cell. So what we are going to refresh are all the organelles that we have in this kind of cells where an organelle is a part of a cell that perform a specific function. So the main, tr the three main organelles that we find in an animal cell uh, the cell membrane that is this structure that will cover the whole cell then you have this, the nucleus that is the inner side this bit inside the cell and the cytoplasm it is the jelly part that will cover will surround the nucleus so as i said each organelle will have a specific function so let's have a look on the specific function for each one so Let's start with the nucleus, that is the, the organelle inside the cell. It contains the DNA and its function is to control every single um, activity that will happen in the cell. Then you have the cell membrane that will allow certain substances to pass through everything that goes in and out of the cell will be controlled by the cell membrane and then the last one is the cytoplasm it is the jelly that is inside the cell and it is where every single chemical reaction will take part will take place and uh, not what is um, not worthy I would like to to mention with you also another organelle that is the mitochondria and this one is where the respiration will occur and the respiration is that process that will allow the cell to release the energy and this energy will be used uh, from uh, for every single chemical reaction that will happen in the cell so now that we refreshed and we revised um, uh, animal, the animal cell uh, characteristic. Let's have a look to this. Each question, as usual, you need to read the full possibility. You need to pick one. Of course, you don't have to point the wall because we are not in the room, but just take your time to read the possibilities and choose one. So, pause the video. Great, so the right answer is A. Why is A? It's because he says, it says animal cells also have a cell wall, a vacuole, and chloroplast. So we know that these three structures are not found in an animal cell, but they will be found in uh, plant cells. So let's have a look to the main characteristic feature and uh, organelle that we found in the plant cell. So this is how a plant cell look like. So let's have a look to the organelles inside the plant cell. The first one is the nucleus, that is this one, the inner side of the cell. Then we have the cell wall, that is this one that will surround the whole cell. Then we have the cell membrane. Then we have this structure that are chloroplasts and the jelly, that is the cytoplasm and this structure here in the middle called vacuole so as well as we observe in the animal cell that each organelle has a specific function let's have a look to the specific function of the plant cell organelles so as you can see we still have cytoplasm nucleus and cell membrane that are the same characteristics we find in an animal cell where the cytoplasm is where the chemical reaction will occur the nucleus is what the structure that will control the cell and the cell membrane instead will control what will go in and out the cell. Then we have, let's have a look to the three organelles that we find just in plant cell. The first one is chloroplast. This is a green organelle. It's green because it contains a, a substance, a pigment, green. And this is important for photosynthesis. That is a process that will happen just in plant cells. And then we have the vacuole, that is this structure here, and its function is to be a storage for food and also to keep the shade to maintain the shape of the plant cell. Then we have the cell wall, that is this uh, thicker layer. Um, 
play around the sun and its structure is to give the strength and to keep the shape of the plant cell. So this slide here is a kind of resume of what we said so far. So we have the animal cell and the plant cell. So those are these are all the um, organelles that we found in both animal cell and plant cell. So you have the cytoplasm, the nucleus, the mitochondria, and cell membrane. Then you have these three additional organelles that you find just in plant cell. So chloroplast to make to make possible the photosynthesis. Remember that the photosynthesis is a process that will happen just in plant cells and it's important because in this way the uh, plant cells are able to make their own food. Then you have the vacuole that is important to store the food produced by photosynthesis and also to keep the shape. Then you have the cell wall that is important to keep the strength and the shape. Remember that the vacuole and cell wall are necessary because plant cells don't have any skeleton so in this way with vacuum and cell or the plant cell will keep the shape so now uh, I put these six sentences and now on your own you need to find out if each one is related with an animal cell plant cell both or neither so pause the video and take your time to complete the task Well, let's have a look to the answer and see which one is related with animal, plant, both or need. So the first one as a nucleus, of course, is both. Then you have a cell wall and it is just in plant. Chloroplast is just in plant. Glows in the dark, neither. Cell membrane, both, and vacuole, of course, is just plant. Remember to write down your total score. How many of uh, did you get right out of six? Great. Then, now as a normal lesson, science lesson, what we need to do at the end of the lesson is the writing task. As usual, you have uh, four questions. The first one, for the first one, I will suggest you to make a little draw, a little diagram on your, uh, in your exercise book and then label it with the main organelles for the animal cells and then the plant cells. For the second one, working out, what you need to do is for each part of cell, you need to write down the function. Then for the yellow, for working beyond what you need to make a list, uh, of differences and similarities between plant cell and animal cells and then for the last one we'll give you a plant extension is explain why differences between plant and animal cells are necessary so it means you need to explain why a plant cells needs a vacuole and why animal cell doesn't and why or the same about cell wall and chloroplast. So post the video, take your time to do the writing task. I will suggest you no less than 10 minutes. Great, so now get ready with your green pen. If you don't have a green pen, use a different color pen, it will be fine anyway. And remember that marking is not just giving a tick at your answer, but add extra detail if you miss something. Okay, let's have a look to the first one. So the diagram, so this is how your diagram should look like. You should have the animal cells with the cell membrane, cytoplasm, and this is a gel inside, and the nucleus. Then you should have the plant cell with the vacuole here, the chloroplast, the jelly that is the cytoplasm, the nucleus, the cell membrane, and the cell wall. <clears throat> then, this is an each part of cell with the um, related function. So the nucleus control the cell. The cytoplasm is where reaction take place. Cell membrane control what gets what goes in and out. Cell will support and protect. Chloroplast photosynthesis will happen, and vacuole to store food and also if you put to keep the shape, it's great. And let's have a look to the next two. So for working beyond what they have in common, amino and molecular plant cells, that both of them have nucleus, cytoplasm, and cell membrane, is that 
What you find just in plant cell is a cell wall, chloroplast, and vacuole. Okay, now for the extension working on the plus. You have that plant needs a cell wall to give support because they don't have plant cells don't have skeleton and plants also need chloroplasts to make photosynthesis and photosynthesis is the process that will allow a plant to make their own food. Animal cells don't need to make their own food, so they don't need photosynthesis and they don't need chloroplast and then plant cells need vacuoles because they in this way they can store food and it will also help to keep the shape brilliant so then as a normal lesson what you need to write now is that what you have achieved so today i have achieved remember that the first gap is for describe explain use and combine the second one is to explain why did you achieve that and remember to share what you have achieved remember that what you have achieved is what you've done on your own and not in green band and remember to share what you have achieved with who is there with you so well done for today and see you next lesson bye